Hey, sup everybody, BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. Wanted to do another short video on a new iPhone 6 Plus case for my iPhone 6 Plus. Now, if you've checked out any of my recent videos, you'll know that I've been using this Jet Tech case that I got on Amazon.com. You can see it's very fingerprinty, but a very decent case. Very, very decent case actually for under $10. Uh, I paid $9.99. For this case and it's been very good for me for the past monthish. So uh, if you're interested in a decent bumper style case, check this case out on Amazon.com. But today, the case I really wanted, you're saying it looks like the same case. Well, it's not the same case. Quick look. See? Difference. This is the SUP case. S-U-P-C-A-S-E. Uh, this was also available on Amazon, however, it's not been recently available on Amazon. Uh, just not available, I'm not sure why, but I went to purchase it. This is a case I've actually really wanted since I got my phone, because I researched cases before I got my phone even. Just looked like a nice case. Uh, I love the clear plastic look, which is why I got that Jet Tech case as well. Uh, but I love the corner type edges on this case. Now this case also had a ton of very, very positive reviews. And um, yeah, and it was what I was looking for because I had a case very similar to this on my iPhone 5S. Uh, and so here we go, here, we, you know, what we have the sub case. Um, here's the packaging that it came in. Came with a little card. If I'm happy or not happy, let them know. And uh, just real simple, there's the sub case logo. Subcase.com is where I got it because, like I said, it was not available on Amazon anymore. And so, uh, if I can zoom in here, it says Subcase iPhone 6 5.5 inches unicorn clear black slash black. So that's what we got. And uh, again, here it is. You can see it has a nice clear plastic on the black, which will allow the beauty of the iPhone to shine through when it's on. Uh, you can see the cutout, big cutout. For the uh, for the flash and for the camera, there. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom side. You got big cutout for the headphone jack, for the port, and for the uh, speaker. Now across the right side, you got just a little button indention type for the power button here. Nothing across the top, and then a very decent size space for the mute button, as well as the plus and negative for the power rocker, or the volume rocker, excuse me. So let me go ahead and install this case. I actually bought it on sup.com for just under $20, I believe $19.99. I'm just gonna slide one edge in here and push it on. Fairly simple to put on like I assumed it would be. Now this case does add a little bit more bulk to it than the Jet Tech. The Jet Tech is actually very, very thin and um, won't offer a whole lot of protection if you drop your phone, uh, but does keep the phone smaller. This case actually, the sub case is actually thicker. It's making it a little bit thicker, more thicker than the Jet Tech. Uh, but like I said, this is a case I really wanted. Right now, as I feel it, it's really not as grippy as I had hoped for. Actually, not bad. It may get a little bit better. This plastic may wear a little bit over time. Uh, so it might make it feel a little bit grippier. If anybody has this case and you do find that that is the case, that it, ha it feels better, please leave a comment below so we all know about that. Um, but I'm going to use this case for a while and check it out, test it out, see how it goes. But I do really love the way that it makes the phone look. Uh, it's letting most of the beauty of the iPhone shine, uh, the backside. And you know, one nice thing about this is if you wanted to put your own photo in here, just take a photo, print it off the right size, stick it back here. You can change it daily, uh, whatever you want to do. So that's an option you want to, that you have as well. Uh, or you can leave it clear like I'm using. Um, but yeah, you can stick any photo in here. Just put it right in before you put the phone in. You're good to go. So let me go ahead and try the power button. Okay, we see beautiful Cinderella's castle at Walt Disney World there for my home screen. And my uh, 
check out the volume buttons piece of cake everything works there kind of hard to distinguish like I can't really feel which one I'm hitting like there's really no separate like this indention right here could be deeper maybe so I could feel exactly where you know if I'm hitting positive and negative but um yeah still works decent but like I said uh, first impression it's not as grippy as I would have liked it to feel but we'll see how that goes over time but anyway this is a sub case I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looked like on the phone and um, a quick quick comparison to the jet tech case that I have that I kind of like and I might be liking better but I'm going to do a comparison so please check out my videos subscribe I appreciate you guys watching this uh, again my name is BMS Lou I'm doing a lot of videos on my iPhone 6 Plus as well as uh, on the new line of GoPro cameras the 2014 line of GoPro Hero cameras so check those out and you know I purchase a lot of stuff on Amazon and other online sites and um, you know kind of give my opinion about them so if that interests you guys please subscribe uh, like share uh, that'd be awesome so uh, everybody take care and uh, we will see you on the next video all right bye bye